Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. The question is, can Democrats win anything these days? Jonathan Ossoff got a tremendous amount of free publicity, a lot of hype from the press for his campaign to win a House seat in the 6th District of Georgia, a place he doesn't actually live. He received more than $8 million in donations. A bunch of celebrities showed up to help him. The national press anointed him repeatedly a rising star. And yet the verdict from the district's actual voters? No thanks. Ossoff received 48% of the vote about what Hillary Clinton got in November, and he was defeated by the combined support for the many, many, almost countless number of Republicans running in that race. President Trump gloated on Twitter saying, quote, Dems failed in Kansas and are now flailing in Georgia. It's now Hollywood versus Georgia on June 20th, which is the runoff. What did Ossoff have to say? Well, last night he delivered a speech calling his showing, a loss, quote, a victory for the ages. Is this the best victory Democrats can muster? Brad Woodhouse is the former president of Americans United for Change. He was a senior advisor to the DNC during Barack Obama's presidential runs, and he joins us tonight. Brad, it's great to see you. Thanks Thank for being you. bold enough to come on and explain <laughs> no what problem. happened last night. So this is the future of the Democratic Party, a guy who loses. Well, look, if, if you, by that reckoning, Karen Handel lost. I mean, she came in, uh, she came in below Ossoff. And so, look, we, we're going to a runoff. We, we don't know what will happen in June. I think there's a fighting chance. The key here for Democrats, Tucker, is that going into 2018, they have to show they can compete in these districts, whether they're right. suburban red districts, whether they're rural red districts. They have to show they can compete. They showed here, they closed the margin. You know, the best the Democrat had done in that seat uh, was about 36 percent. He got to 48 in this. Let's see what he does in June. Well, that's great. Where, where do you pick up the participation trophy? Um, is it So, like, how could you lose to 11 Republicans? Well, remember, he got most, he got 48% of the vote. Right. Karen Handel, the next uh, closest uh, Republican, only got 19. And there were four or five other Democrats in the race. Uh -huh. So, 48% is pretty impressive. So, well, well, it doesn't get you into Congress, I notice. But what's the strategy? Like, what's the theme that undergirds this guy's campaign? If